Hello, my name is Hector. This is Diane. Welcome back to Sky Factory 3. We are back here. I've done some stuff. You can see I've got some wheat out growing because I thought, you know what? I kind of need to think about food. Just, you know, just calmly. I'm not like in dire need of, of it or anything like that, but it's good to have. I've kind of extended a little bit. I've done some more stuff. I've sieved more. I've got a heavy oak sieve. So this allows us to compress things. I don't think I have anything I can press right now, but I, well, let me show you. Let me show you just in case uh, you don't know um how's everyone doing i hope you're doing well i hope you're having a good day let's do that there we go bam we got some we got some gravel we uh we compress it just by kind of doing that so a lot of things can be compressed you can even see i uh i made a compressed uh, stone hammer so that's nine of those hammers nine of these hammers uh, and you can you can kind of you can hammer uh, compress things but it only does it one block at a time so you can't kind of vein mine it uh, which isn't called vein mining this it's called i think ore extractor or something like that but there you go that is what that is for so we're doing all right we're doing all right ha have we got we've got some more iron that is good that is good there we go bam like that we're doing all right we are doing okay but one thing i'm really quite tired of and Oh, I've made that into clay. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, that is fine though. That is okay. Uh, I've got some seared brick. And I've got some diamond, which is very exciting. And I've also, I'm sure, last episode, last episode when we made the cobble generator, uh, which is still working. We've got almost a full chest. I'm sure some people have said you can do it with the transfer node, which I realise I've kind of done that before. Or there is a cobble generator in the pack. And now the transfer node, I kind of. I've kind of forgot that this is 1.10. Um, I've been playing, you know, 1.7 kind of skyblock stuff, and transfer nodes are a bit more expensive, so we need an upgrade mining. So that's quite a bit of iron for that. But there's also this, uh, which gives us that, and then nine, uh, eight iron. So how much iron is this? That's three, and then four to so seven. So it's actually maybe a little bit. I don't know which one is better. I don't know what is quicker. But look, there's kind of tears to this, which is pretty cool. Ooh, blaze rods. Okay, uh, emeralds and diamond. Okay, so we could definitely do this one. But I'm not sure if that is quicker than just a transfer node with a kind of mining thing. I've no idea. I've no idea. Um, I don't know which one to go for. This one, let's go for this one. I've, I've used this one before. If people watch my Banished series... Um, I, I used it then. Can I actually just make this now? Yes, I can. Haha. -ha. Excellent. And I get my buckets back, which is excellent. Uh, bam. And we've got a tier two cobble generator. So, so what we can do right here is take that back and take you back. There we go. And if we get you back as well, we might need you. Uh, and we put you here. That should basically do it. Yeah, so that is, I think that's around about the same kind of, almost the same kind of thing. But uh, it's just, a, it's a bit quieter for a start. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. I don't know if that is better yet. I've not, no idea really. Is there any, no, no holes. Excellent. There we go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. So today, my big things, I'm going to try and get a smeltery going of sorts. Uh, but also, I'm really tired of hammering. Uh, there is an auto hammer. An auto hammer. So let's start by kind of making that. I'm probably not going to have enough stuff now. <laughs> of course I'm not. I'm, I might... Oh, don't say I'm... I am one short. One short. Okay, so let's get some... Let's get some... I've got some iron there... Um, I was going to make a transfer node. Actually, let's make one anyway, because they're kind of handy to have. Uh, trans, and they are very different in uh, 1.10. I keep forgetting. It's one of those things I keep forgetting. So we should be able to make that. Yes, and then a transfer node. Uh, I don't have a chest, and I don't have any stone. Let's make some stone. Oh, no. Ha! Ha ha ha. I can do this. Excellent. Excellent. That is handy. Uh, what else is there? I needed a chest. We can do a chest. A chest is easy for us. There we go. Um, what else?
else did we need? Just this, really. Come on. There we go. And let's make that. How's everyone doing, by the way? Hope you're doing well. Uh, what am I missing? Some redstone. Of course I am. Of course I am. There we go. What? Why did that not... There you go. Well, that was weird. Um, okay, let's make that. Bam. And you get four. You get four. That is excellent. That is excellent stuff. So, uh, auto. Auto hammer. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. I don't know how fast this is. Um, oh, ha, ha, ha. Let us have a look at this. And let's put it over here. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. I don't... This... This feels like, to me, I'm going to... Oh, I need RF. Of course I do. Oh, of course I do. I completely forgot about that. Well, well, so it looks like we're going to try and get some RF today, then. That is actually what's going to be uh, happening. So I can make um, I can make lava with this. So we're probably going for lava power. Lava power seems like the most uh, sane kind of version of what to do. There is also an, an auto sieve. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Auto sieve. What do we need for that? But we need a fair bit more uh, of that. Okay. I don't know what lava generators there are. Let's have a look at generators. Lava. So there's a. Oh, all right. Simple. And um, we need an ender crystal for that. So probably not. Magmatic. Ah, ah. Ah, ha, So that I think is doable. That is definitely doable. Okay, so gold, some lava, and the furnace generator, some more of that. Okay, so that is totally doable. So I need to make some um, some nether rack, and I believe because I believe it it speeds up the um, the process of making lava. So right now our lava is it's kind of so we need to put lava in a stone barrel and then put some redstone in. So we can do that. We can definitely do that. I've only got one of that. Okay. Okay, we've got some more lava. That is fine. Uh, I have made I have made a stone barrel. There we go. Let's put you down here. Let's put you in and let's do that. There we go. We get some netherrack because this, as you can see, this is a rate of three. Uh, and we can make it faster. We can make it faster. And that we can make it faster by basically... Can I... I bet I can't. So let's put it there. Have I got any flint? Any flint on me? I don't think so. Let's have a look here. Yes, plenty of flint. Lovely stuff. Um, let's make ourselves a quick one of these. Flint and steel. Lovely stuff. Um, I need something. There we go. Right. Let's try this now. So we have... This is very high up. There we go. Lovely. And uh, let's put you on fire. Let's get you there like that. And that, the rate is now four. So that is like, that is a lot better. That is like a lot, lot better. Let's just put you like that. Uh, and yeah, we have that now. So I don't know how I'm going to get up there. But for now, this should basically... Yeah, that's so much faster. Look at that. Um, if I actually had some more cobble, let's do that. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit faster, which is excellent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work my way uh, towards the magmatic, whatever it's called, generator, I presume, magmatic. Uh, so gold should be easy enough. We need some more redstone. We need some more iron and we need more redstone and more redstone and more iron. OK, so quite a bit of redstone and iron there. So basically what I'm going to do, going to have to compress a load of this and yeah, and hammer it, basically. That's what I'm going to be doing. I will see you shortly. I have been busy. Uh, I've made myself the smallest possible smeltery just to get that going so we can actually start doing some kind of ore processing soon. Um, I need to kind of build this up a little bit because at the moment I can only get two in. Um, but we will get to that. So what I've been doing is I've made some more crucibles, got some more netherrack to put there, and we should now be able... I made myself a furnace generator and a machine block. You kind of get four um, machine blocks when you make the magmatic. Let's have a look-see. There we go. And we should be able to make that. Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So let us put that here. 
So I'm not certain exactly, but what I was thinking is we put one of these on here and then I'm hoping that that will kind of do that. And then we will put one on here like that and there. And then we kind of do a bit of that, that, there we go. Right. So that's what I'm hoping. So I need to get my, where's my, where is it? Uh, where, where did I put it? Where did, there it is. Flint and steel. And to light this up, like so, bam. So that should be doing it. So let's also order this off just so. Oh, and it's, it's raining. It's raining. There we go. Like that. Like that. That is irritating because I don't think I can do anything because it is daytime. There we go. Did I get that? Did I get that? Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's okay. It's okay. So what I now need to do is kind of get that, all the cobble into these things here. So how am I going to do that? Um, I believe, I believe I can maybe do it like that. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. So actually if I do it that there and that on there, come on. Something like this. I'm hoping with the other transfer node, I can basically do that and then put that like that, that, and that. And that looks like I can do such things. Yes. Uh, so I'm hoping that then kind of goes into there, which we then can uh, put on with that probably then need to make another cobblestone generator so that can go automatically into the auto hammer but for now to be honest i'm not too bothered i i don't mind kind of compressing things myself or i actually i can't compress it but doing it putting these things automatic uh, manually into not automatic manually into the auto hammer just so i don't have to hammer anymore because hammering oh my it takes so long it feels like it takes so long so how are we doing? Uh, oh, I have to wait a little bit for this. So I'm going to let this run and then hopefully we have some RF power. I've done it. It has been done. Look at this. It is generating, well, just about, what, 100,000 RF. Uh, and it is keeping up nicely with the auto hammer. So a little thing that I had to do, I forgot. I, I, I forgot. I had to use um, fluid transfer nodes, obviously, not item ones. That uh, makes sense, so I kind of swapped those out. So this is basically, this is powering that. Uh, so I'm going to build this up a little bit. And this is basically doing its thing. You can see it's pretty much keeping up. It is keeping up quite happily with that. I've made another cobblestone generator just to uh, to feed into the auto hammer. Um, this one is just doing these. But, I mean, that seems to be doing it now. I'm going to have to find out what is the fastest way... Uh, what is the fastest way to kind of power a crucible um i'm not sure in in project ozone 2 there's a, a you know a few different methods of doing this but uh not certain not certain so i'm gonna have to look into that so that is definitely something that i need to do but it's just nice to to basically like stack of gravel stack of gravel just like that and i don't have to do anything which is really rather lovely um yeah, that's, is that just going to, oh no, okay, that's, that keeps going up. So that is producing cobble faster than this can break it, which is fine for us right this moment. Um, yeah, this is just going to make things quite a lot easier. I hate, I really dislike having to hammer everything. It is quite annoying. I might make another one of these and use it to like make uh, sand and dust. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm not certain, but um, this will help us like a lot. For, from now on oh what i also thought ha, 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 we have we have some food we have some food oh i've got <laughs> i've got to be careful there uh, because that just goes all the way down into the void so i need to be a little bit careful let's go to here and actually make some food bread oh and we get an achievement we get an achievement for that isn't that nice so i think that might be all we do for today it might be a bit 
of a shorter episode, even though I've probably put more time into it. it. It might go that way. I don't know. I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy it nonetheless. Uh, let's have a bit of bread. Very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. I'm very much enjoying the series. Let me know um, because I recorded this at the same time as last episode. So if you've put any suggestions down in the last episode, I won't have read them yet. So if I don't get to you for a few days, that will be why. But I am thinking, depending on how well the series does, to kind of do, I don't know, like a daily episode. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you didn't enjoy it, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And of course, make sure you are subscribed for more from Sky Factory 3. I've been Hector. This has been Sky Factory 3, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.